Now we're going to talk about pumps and controllers. The sole purpose of our pump is to pressurise the water that we have stored in our rainwater tank for use in our home and garden. It's important that we leave the power turned on to our pump at all times. The pump turns itself on and off as required when the water is used. It's also a good idea to check that your pump is working correctly simply by turning a tap or an appliance on that is connected to your rainwater and check that your pump cuts in. The pump is cut in as we can hear. The pump should continue to run until it builds up enough pressure in the line and then turns itself off. This is an external pump. We'll now go to our other location to have a look at its submersible. We've just looked at external pumps. In this installation, they've used an, a submersible pump. The submersible pump sits inside the tank and the water is pumped from here through the pipework system across to the controller. The controller decides whether it uses town mains water or water from the tank depending on the water level in the tank. If you have a filter like this on the inlet to your controller, it needs to be maintained. To do this, we simply turn the mains water off, we turn the power off to the pump. By undoing this screw at the back, we release the pressure and the excess water out of the line. Undo the housing and remove the filter. This filter is cleaned by hosing out then put back together like so. Doesn't need to be over tightened, nice and firm. That's done. You may also have a filter on the outlet side of the controller. This is the same procedure. The power needs to be turned off to the pump, the water off at the mains. Some come with a, bracket, a wrench like this to undo the filter. The filters in these housings are a cartridge. These are discarded, new ones are bought from hardwares or plumbing supplies, reinstated back and reinstalled. And that's how you clean the filters on your controller. Now we're just going to have a look at top ups for tanks. If you don't have a controller, you may have a top up. A top up works very similar to a toilet inlet valve. We have mains pressure into the valve. This float is adjusted to suit the depth of your tank. As the water level drops, it pulls the arm on the inlet valve down, allowing water to flow into the tank. This ensures we always have water for the toilet and washing machine. We need to make sure that this arm can move freely at all times to ensure that it works effectively. Another great idea are rainwater level gauges. These move up and down with the water in your tank showing you how much water you have. This is a great way to tell whether your pump's working correctly or not. So that's a basic overview of rainwater tank maintenance. I hope this helps you in the future to keep your rainwater tank maintained as best as it can be. Remember, do not tamper with pump controllers and tank top-up systems. They have the potential to contaminate the mains water supply. Contact a licensed plumber if you suspect a problem with these systems.